Hello. So good to meet you at our global mathematician meeting. We are reading World Scriptures book. This God's words that inspire billions of people, families, communities, countries, and the whole world. And will help you to just read these quotes and practice in your daily life. As we're reading this holy book from the beginning, please find all the chapters at our message to billion channel. And uh, today God prepared for us a new topic about women rights. Uh, the movement for women rights and equality for, of the sexes that began in the last century in major force um, for human betterment yet i mean the, the profusion of feminism idea and threads can scripturally instruct them to discern what best uh, and most enduring this section deals specifically with women's rights in society the more fundamental man-woman relationship is uh, marriage and their the matter of uh, sexual and equality of the sex come up with special force see chapter 19 ethics of uh, married life against the president uh, mistreatment of women Scriptures affirm the essential equality and dignity of both men and women before God. Scriptures also affirm the right of women to an education and to seek the highest goal of faith and authentic Buddhist passages praises the resolve of a man who defeats the devil so whispering that women are not fit for enlightenment. On the other hand, the scriptures encourage the traditional womanly role of childbearing as the basis of female dignity. Further, there is a scriptural warrant for the subordinate of women as a consequence of the fall and the first woman sin at them to which Father Moon adds a unique twist when he attributes women's subordination at least in part of the degradation of men to the level of the archangels. It is uh, undeniable that the men and women are distinctly unequal in their physical stature and abilities. A Buddhist text uh, ridicules the notions that uh, such external differences have uh, any meaning based on its uh, perspective that mind is the only reality. That they want to do for Father Moon, who affirms the reality of the created world. Rather, he teaches that the love is the basis of the equality of men and women. He supports the traditional value of childbearing, calling it the God's special gift to women. But at the same time, he applauds women who aspire to leadership position in society, and he encourages uh, his women followers to take it on traditional male role. In this respect, his uh, thought uh, resonates with the dream of the pioneering American feminist uh, Susan B. Anthony, who is quoted here. The basis of uh, equality between men and women. First quote, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Another quote, and their Lord answers them, I was not the labor of any that labors among you. Be you male or female, the one of you is as other. Further, let's read the quote from the second guy, Messiah, Father Sammy Moon. Uh, even in America, the, where the women's rights movement has promoting equality between the sexes, men today still have more privileges than women. Although American women may be somewhat uh, better off, uh, generally speaking, women throughout the world uh, live their lives dominated by men and carry resentment that uh, they were born as women. The United States has a law granting equality between men and women. Nevertheless, in a fight, a man has the threat to defeat even two women combined. Don't marry, don't many women still think I wish I was were born a man? 
throughout history, while uh, men have enjoyed the um, good fortune, a woman's uh, lot has been miserable. Is it uh, many women who assault uh, and violate men, or men who violate women? Men violate women. It uh, has uh, been this uh, way throughout history. In case of criminal assault against the opposite sex, uh, at over 90% are committed against women. For this reason, women have been holding a grudge against men and pursue women's rights. Why doesn't God solve this problem and establish equality among the sexes? Why doesn't he make those malicious men surrender, but instead just allow them to continue? This is the issue. How are you going to assure equal rights by force, external law, emotional persuasion? It is through love. It is through love that women can be equal to men. Through love, a mother can be equal to her son, even though he may be the president of a nation. Where there is love, everything can be equal. In this sense, uh, we have to understand that the central core of uh, equality lies in men and women who hope uh, for peaceful families centered on true love. A husband wants to return to his wife's uh, bosom and a wife wants to return to her husband's bosom and became one. There nothing is uh, high or low. They are indeed experiencing equality. Can there be equality in any other place? Equal rights uh, for men and women exist only in a peaceful family. Equality is born from the concept of we. It uh, does not uh, exist uh, when I am the center. The center must be we. You must understand this uh, equality arises from we centeredness in the love among we. It cannot arise from the self-centered. Unfortunately, most uh, feminists uh, have an I-centered concept, and most men who believe in traditional male superiority think the same way. They are both uh, wrong. The correct uh, viewpoint is to advocate human rights for all people. To seek equality by putting women first uh, does not make sense. The only sensible way to seek equality is to uphold the rights of everyone, centering on love. It uh, don't favor either the feminist movement or the tradition of male superiority. Men should live for the sake of women and women should live for the sake of men. Just as human beings want to see God during their lifetime, God also wants to see true individuals. Yet uh, if uh, God called for either the man first or the woman first, the one who was not picked would complain. Therefore, God cannot help but make love supreme. In that way, both the man and the woman can see God together, touch God together, and share God together. If uh, the most precious thing in the world were some material thing, surely the men and the women would uh, fight over it. But once they understand that it is love, they will become one and possess it together by caring for each other. So powerful quotes for today. If you have difficulties, please watch on my time this video. Share this video as we and this video on Happy Life Subscribe to Smart Zone. Contact me for consultation, cooperation, and become a member of this family parents holy community globally. Receive heavenly parents seven heavenly kingdom citizenship right now. The contact is below. And uh, see you tomorrow with more powerful quotes. Till then, uh, turn on suggestions playlists. Um, choose the best one for you and listen God's words. Stay blessed all the day. Bye bye. For now, yours, Nikolai Servo.